Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at two methods to do hyperparameter optimization, although they can also be used for algorithm selection. So recall that in hyperparameter optimization, what we want to do is we want to find hyperparameters that maximize the performance of a machine learning model. Now in this video we're going to take a look at grid search and random search to do this. Now, in grid search, what we have to do is we have to first of all select the hyperparameters over which we want to search. So, for example, if we have a neural network trained with gradient descent, maybe we want to search over the learning rate and, for example, over the momentum parameter or hyperparameter. So, what we then do is for both of these hyperparameters that we have identified and over which we want to search, we define sets of values that we want to try out. So for every hyperparameter that we search over, we define sets of values which we want to try out. And then what we do is we simply evaluate all possible combinations. Now this can be visualized as a grid in this figure. So here on the x-axis we have one hyperparameter, and we want to try out this value, this value, and this value. And on the y-axis we have another hyperparameter for which we want to try out this value, this value and this value. And then what grid search does is it goes over all possible combinations of these hyperparameter values on the x-axis and y-axis and we evaluate them. So more specifically what we do is we define value sets for every hyperparameter over which we want to search. So this is our first hyperparameter, for example the learning rate, and we want to try out these values. Now this is our second hyperparameter, for example momentum, and these could be the values that we want to try out. Now note that these values you could think of as being on the x-axis in this example, and these values as being on the y-axis. But more generally we can have any number of hyperparameters over which we want to search. So let's say we have n hyperparameters, and that for the nth hyperparameter we want to investigate these two values. So we then simply form all combinations of these hyperparameter values and we evaluate them. So we evaluate their Cartesian product which gives us all possible combinations. And note that this evaluation procedure is often done on a validation set. So we do not do this on the training set because that will give us a biased view and may lead to overfitting, but we really evaluate this on new unseen data uh, for which we often use a holdout validation set. Alright, so this is grid search, and it's a very simple method and also easy to parallelize, because every hyperparameter configuration that we want to try out, we can run them in parallel, because they do not need to communicate with each other and they do not need to share information. Now, on the downside, however, uh, grid search is really a waste of compute time when one or more hyperparameters are not at work. And I will show you why that is in a couple of slides. Now, secondly, it also has some scalability concerns because the number of combinations of hyperparameters grows exponentially fast in the number of hyperparameters that we want to search over. Now, lastly, also, the question, of course, remains of how we want to define the grid. How do we know that the values that we put in the value sets are actually good values to try out? And this last issue is what uh, random search actually kind of solves for us. So in random search, instead of defining sets of values that we want to try out, we simply use ranges of hyperparameter values over which we want to search. So instead of saying on the x-axis we want to try this value, this value, and this value, what we say is we take the entire range, so this is the admissible range of values, and we simply sample from that range. And we sample according to some kind of probability distribution that we have defined over this range. So that is why they do not, all of these points on the x-axis do no, no longer lie um, on just three particular values, but they are really sampled randomly. So for example, we could say that for the first hyperparameter, we want to search over 
0.001, which would be this value here, and then 0.1, which is the maximum value. And what we say is that we want to sample from uh, this range using a log uniform distribution. So what this basically means is that we transform both of these values into log space, we sample in log space, and then we transform the sampled values back to the original space. Now for the second hyperparameter, let's say we define a uniform distribution over this interval, so with a minimum value of 0.8 and maximum value of 0.99, and that could be, for example, the range of this y-axis here. And then we sample uniformly from this range. Of course, we can have more hyperparameters over which we want to search. So let's say we have n, and let's say the last hyperparameter is a categorical distribution over these different values. And then what we do in random search is we evaluate samples from the joint distribution. So in order to sample one configuration, one theta, and recall that theta is a vector, we have to sample the first value from this distribution, the second value from this distribution, etc., etc., and the nth value from this distribution. So in order to sample one hyperparameter configuration, we have to sample from these n distributions, and in total we want to evaluate m configurations. So what this means is that we have to sample in total from m times n distribution. All right, so this is the idea of random search, and random search is also pretty simple, maybe even simpler than grid search, because we only have to define the ranges and no longer the specific values that we want to evaluate. But this is also easy to parallelize for the same reason as grid search. And an additional benefit is that we can now actually set a budget of function evaluation. So we can say we want to evaluate capital M hyperparameter configurations. <clears throat> now, lastly, it also has a theoretical guarantee, although this is not really, uh, not really has any meaning in, in, in practical scenarios, because what this theoretical guarantee says is that if the ranges are chosen such that the optimal hyperparameter configuration is contained within these ranges, as we give an infinite amount of compute time or evaluate an infinite number of samples from our distributions, then with probability one, we will eventually find the optimal setting, right? So this is uh, pretty straightforward, but in practice, it does not uh, give us anything because we do not have an infinite amount of compute time. Now, on the downside, random search is not very data efficient, much like grid search, and it is still pretty expensive to perform. So we will see uh, more advanced methods that can overcome these, issue, these issues in, in future videos. And now I want to kind of talk about the relationship between grid search and random search. So suppose that we have uh, here a grid search and here a random search, and that on the x-axis we have an important hyperparameter because the value of the hyperparameter on the x-axis greatly influences the performance. And furthermore, suppose that we have an unimportant hyperparameter along the y-axis. And why is this unimportant? Well, because the value of this hyperparameter does not really affect the performance at all. Now, similarly for random search, and now what we see is that when we perform grid search, we only have three distinct evaluations on the performance landscape, so to say. So we only have three useful evaluations, and that's because the values of the, the y-axis of the unimported hyperparameter don't really affect the performance. Whereas for random search, as we sample randomly from the interval which we have specified, we actually have nine useful evaluations. So grid search only has three useful evaluations in this uh, example, whereas random search has nine. And what this means is that random search is often more efficient when there are unimportant hyperparameters over which you search. So in other words, random search has a better coverage of the search space than grid search. <clears throat> 